while you walk. Whistle while you walk. Hum while you walk. Mmm, that was. Mm. Ah, Senorita Anita, I cannot tell you what a pleasant surprise it was that you accepted my invitation. Surprise? Huh. If I refused, you said you would kill Brother Napa. <laughs> yes, well, I admit it is not your conventional first date. Some men send candy, some men send flowers. I kidnap relatives. <laughs> ah, Commandante, excuse me! Sergeant! I'm sorry, Commandante. There was an ant on your radish. <laughs> Took care of him. Broke every bone in his body. <laughs> And here we are, Bernardo's secret clothesline. For Zorro's secret mask. And Zorro's secret cape. Zorro's secret cape. There you are, you drink. And now for Zorro's biggest secret of all. Zorro's secret well, boom, gosh. Very well, let us get this over with. Let Brother Napa go and I will kiss you. Agreed. Now, free the brother. More chicken. Ooh, liar! True, but is that not the purpose of a first date? For two people to... Get to know each other. Dear Lord, please send a breeze to dry Bernardo's wash for Zorro. Please, 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 please. I think that was one please too many. Well, my dear. It looks like a storm will cut our idyllic afternoon short. So, let's get right down to brass knuckles. <laughs> will you marry me? I would sooner marry the lowest piece of slime on earth. You rang my love? Good cake. Good If I cannot have you, I'll end it all. You take your life? No. Please. Kiss me. If only Zorro were here. <laughs> Santa Maria, saved by Zorro's laundry. It's what it will be known as the miracle of the wet cake. <laughs> Seize him. Bye-bye. Father, I can't find that hat I made. The one with the rearview mirror so you can see the soldiers when they're gaining on you. Good. Oh, by the by, have you seen my whalebone coat? <laughs> Your what? <laughs> never mind. Bernardo! Where is he? I can never find anything in this house yet. He left early this morning to do the wash. He never took all day to do my laundry. I'm so easy on capes. <laughs> Something's wrong. What if Bernardo has been taken? Kidnapped? Yes. If it's true, I'm sure Zorro would ride to the rescue. I'm sure of one more thing. Zorro would be riding in his underwear. Bernardo has the outfits, remember? Sergeant, we have Don Diego Vega's servant and a basket full of Zorro's wet wash. Ha! <laughs> now, what does that tell us? That Zorro does not do his own laundry. <laughs> what else? That Don Diego's servant Bernardo does. What else? The Zorro must be... Yes, yes. Naked! <laughs> Idiot. Fool! <laughs> Corporal Gazette. Commandante. Bring in Don Diego Vega for questioning. See, si, Commandante. <laughs> Don Diego. Oh, Corporal. What can I do for you? Oops. I'm sorry. Uh, but if one does not prune in the spring, then there is no fruit in the fall. <laughs> but 
Could we stand over here? Oh, of course. Of course. Are you all right? Yes. Well, there we go. So. Sorry, old boy. Corporal Cassette, what brings you here? Well, Don Diego, Comandante Pico took Senorita Anita on a picnic. Ah, senorita, can I tell you what a pleasant surprise it was that you accepted my invitation? Surprise, if I refused, you said you would kill Brother Napa. I had such a conventional first date. Some men send candy, some men send flowers. I kidnapped Brother Napa. Excuse me, Comandante! Sergeant, sorry, Comandante, there was an ant on your head. I took care of him. I broke every bone in his body. Very well, let's get this over with. Let Brother Napa go and I will kiss you. Agreed. Now free the brother. Well, Sergeant, we have Don Diego Vega's servant and a basket full of Zorro's wet wash. What does that tell us? That Zorro does not do his own laundry. What else? That Don Diego Vega's servant Bernardo does? What else? That Zorro must be? Yes, yes, naked, idiot, fool, cassette, bring in Don Diego Vega for questioning. Oh, Corporal Cassette, what brings you here? Carlos, no! Ah, senorita, can I tell you what a pleasant surprise it was that you accepted my invitation? Surprise. Is a very few. Not having any luck, eh, Sergeant? He has a hard head, my Comandante. This is the third club I broke on him today. <laughs> well, let us try a new technique. Bricks. No. It is called good ombre, bad ombre. Ah, perhaps you've read about it in the latest issue of Popular Tyrant. Forgive me, Commandante, but there are so many new developments in the field of torture that it's very hard for me to keep up. The idea is simply this. One of us tells the prisoner he will be lashed, tarred, and feathered if he does not cooperate. I see. And the other one plays the bad guy. <laughs> you give support to this Bernardo. Be his friend. Make him feel that you're on his side. Then he will tell us Zorro's true identity. <laughs> State your name, you miserable wretch. My name... Listen, I'm your friend. Where are you from? Mexico. You're kidding. Me too. You know Hector Lopez? He's from Mexico too. South side. That's him. <laughs> Comandante, are you listening to this? We got a lot in common. We grew up in the same country. Wonderful, Sergeant. State your name. My name... Listen, you don't have to tell this chicken Comandante nothing. Look at this. You see all these ribbons there? Uh, all these medals? What do you think he got most of them for? Attendance. You take away this fancy uniform, this sore, this funny hat. You know what you got? A balding guy with starch underwear. Why do you think he walks like that? Sergeant! I thought you wanted me to be his friend. Sergeant, how would you and your new friend like to share the same cell? Mm -hmm. Commandante. Ah, Don Diego. My apologies for dragging you out of your hacienda like this. But there are a few questions I'd like to clear up. Listen, you don't have to tell this bald chicken commandante nothing. Sergeant! We're not doing that anymore. The problem, Don Diego, is your servant. It seems he was caught washing laundry. No. Yes. Sergeant, bring me the prima facie. The what? Exhibit A. A what? Give me the wet clothes! <laughs> now. Perhaps you can explain why your servant Bernardo was washing Zorro's laundry. Bite your tongue. Bernardo betrayed me by taking in someone else's laundry? Never. Not even for some extra pesos? I pay him well. How much? Forty pesos a week. Thursdays off? Of course. What exactly would my duties be? Don Diego, if you are certain Bernardo is not taking in any laundry, then there is only one possibility left, isn't there? Is there? There is. That you are Zorro. Moi, fool. We have dressing rooms in the back. This is an outrage. You cannot force decent people to try on clothes against their will. There are rights. There are laws. There are guns. He's <laughs> That's what happens when you don't drip dry. Well, are you satisfied? I do not understand. I was so sure. Well, I can see I have no choice. Bernardo must be forced to talk. Sergeant, prepare the prisoner for his four o'clock flogging. Remove his shirt. But, my Comandante, I cannot do that to a friend. All right, all right. Leave his shirt on. Wait. Let me have a word with him. Perhaps he'll listen to me. Very well. I can only visit for a minute. Uh, uh, Bernardo. Bernardo. We don't have much time. Now tell me everything you said today. Everything? Yes. Please don't hit me with that stick. Please don't hit me with that brick. Please don't hit me 
Please don't hit me. It's very good, Bernardo. Now listen. Pico already suspects me. But no matter what they do to you, I must never reveal my identity. Remember, we have much to lose. And it all belongs to me? <laughs> Bernardo, you must be strong only for a little while, my friend. In a little while, they're gonna hang me. Have no fear. I'm Zorro. Zorro has a plan. Now listen carefully. Sergeant, the flogging lamp is lit. <laughs> it is time again, old buddy. I feel terrible about this. Bernardo, I am supposed to give you 20 lashes. But since we are friends, I'm only going to give you 19. Oh, thanks, pal. Hey, what are friends for? <laughs> Sergeant, commence. Wait, Commandante. The prisoner has something to say. My name? Well, Bernardo, I'm waiting. Is Zorro. Morning, Father. Mm. Good morning, son. Are you ready to ride to free Bernardo? Have you forgotten the Commandante has our clothes? Zorro cannot ride without his pants. Father, Zorro doesn't need pants to save Bernardo. Ride with no pants? <laughs> Zorro can get away with a lot of things. No. <laughs> Father, what I mean is Zorro is more than a black cape and a black mask. Yes? He's a spirit. And that spirit lives no matter what he wears. I do not understand, my commandante. Where are we going to find 12 citizens to believe that that short round man is Zorro? Yeah. Have no fear, Sergeant. I have complete faith in the jury system. <laughs> <laughs> Commandante, do you really believe Bernardo is Zorro? Of course not. He's protecting Don Diego, I'm sure of it. Then why are you putting him on trial and making him face the hangman's noose? First of all, it fills up the morning. <laughs> and secondly, I am baiting a trap for the real Zorro. I know you're young and eager, but I have been Zorroing for a long time. Now, I am not saying that clothes make the man, but a gray jacket with matching Toreador pants, yellow shirt with a funny bow tie. No, no, it doesn't help. Now, I'm not the tailor Bernardo is. Take this. I made them from the living room drapes. <laughs> Take them and ride for... Justice? Justice. People of Los Angeles, arise! <laughs> Throw up the yoke of tyranny! <laughs> Don Carlos, or I will make you pay for the fruit. Father? Yes? Oh, look at you. Nice. Did you free Bernardo? No. But I hope you're in the mood for muskmelon. Hmm? <laughs> The prisoner Bernardo is charged with being the highwayman Zorro, and the sentence is death. Excuse me, Comandante, but you forgot the trial. Very well, but I don't know how I'm supposed to do my job with all this red tape. <laughs> Bring out the condemned man. <clears throat> I mean the defendant. Si, sí, Comandante. <laughs> now, now you will see your black fox. Your scourge of the Camino Real will be justice. Yes, here is your El Zorro. <gasps> See, Comandante. Read the charges against the prisoner. The prisoner Benato Benitez, also known as Zorro, also known as the Curse of Capistrano, also known as the Scourge of the Camino Real, also known as the Black Blight of San Bernardino, was charged with robbing, stealing, grabbing, taking, absconding, grand theft, horse, grand theft, mule, grand theft, donkey, grand theft, barrel, petty larceny, grand larceny, grand theft, piano, grand theft, grand piano. Boy, have I been busy. <laughs> Father, you're back. Yes. Father, there's not much time left. They hang Bernardo with dawn. How did it go? Not good, my son. I rode up north to visit our old friend, the tailor, Oliga Box, now to see if he'd make some new costumes for us. I couldn't get near the place because men were watching it. Nothing else has worked. We can't let Bernardo go to his death to protect us. One of us must confess. And it must be me. I am old. You are young. I have led a full life. 
Your life lies ahead of you. I must pass the torch. You must finish the work that I have begun. Carlos, don't you want to say anything? <laughs> well, when you're right, you're right. On the other hand, what about seniority, my boy? And there's no substitute for experience, huh? <laughs> Who is it? Find just a poor with her. Please, let me in. Let yourself in. Don Diego, I come to you because I know you share my fondness for Bernardo. I cannot stand idly by and watch my best friend Bernardo hung by the neck onto blue and his eyes bulge out and his tongue turns all purple and protrudes like this. <laughs> by my second best friend, Comandante Pico, who will be watching like this. So, what can we do? The Rio Sorro cannot act because we have his clothes, see? See, si. El Comandante has all the tailor shops being watched, see? Si. See, si. that is why I have all Tel Zorro shrunken clothes myself. You? you? See, si. my own father was a tailor. I still knit in my spare time, you know? <laughs> but if El Comandante found out, he have me shot. Don Diego, I beg of you. If you will appear dressed as a Zorro, it will clear Bernardo. Where are the clothes? Ah, I have them safely hidden in a place El Comandante would never go. It is in the... Sergeant Sepulveda, just as I expected, you have gone soft. No, Comandante, no! No! No, Comandante. Do not deny it! You were here to try and save Zorro. No! He's here to try and save his friend Bernardo. And Bernardo is not Zorro. True. But I believe I know who Zorro is. I swear to you, my Comandante, I am loyal to you. You will have a chance to prove your loyalty, Sergeant. Anything, Comandante, anything. Good. Start by choosing what size noose your friend takes. I would say a 16 and a half regular. <laughs> Turn this boy will inside out to find where Sepulveda hid those clothes. I have come to hear your confession, my son. Thank you, brother. Uh, well, you see, the first dirty thing I did was I was four years old. I trust you can see all right, Don Diego. Normally, standing room is 40 pesos, but these are house seats. Oh, very thoughtful. I am sure the real sorrow is dying inside knowing that in a few moments an innocent man will be executed for his crimes. I'm sure you are right, Comandante. St. Anthony, you're the patron saint of the lost. You've helped me before when I couldn't find my good saddle wax. And the time before that when I was nine and I couldn't find my lucky bull's ear. <laughs> Please, help me now. And then when I turned six, I covered it by neighbor's avocados. And then he had a daughter by the name of Maria, and I pulled her by the ponytails. We don't have much time, son. Let's skip right to puberty and get to the good stuff, huh? Sepulveda said that the clothes of Zorro were hidden in a place where a black-hearted soul like Pico would never go. Please, St. Anthony, give me a sign. And then Marie and I went over to the couch. But we both kept one foot on the floor. Enough! Sergeant! Wait, wait! What about Bernardo's penance? What penance? Well, I... I want him to go on a holy pilgrimage and visit all the missions in California and the tri-state area. That'll take months. Blindfold? I brought my own. Are you sure you have nothing to tell me? I have told you everything. I am Don Diego. He is my servant, Bernardo. Are you, Capitan, or a fool? You speak bravely in the face of death. It's easy for him to speak bravely. I'm the death facer. Bernardo, I hope this does not mean we still can be friends. Well, I'll, I will think about it, Sepulveda. Sergeant, do your duty. Ladder away. Riding crop. Pot. All right. 
All right. I have no choice. I will tell you who Zorro is. The real Zorro is here! Zorro! Not Bernardo, you fools! Get Zorro! Ah, look at that, Comandante. My friend was innocent. I was so sure. Oh, sure. I don't know, Comandante. You thought he was Zorro. You thought Don Diego Vega was Zorro. You think everybody's Zorro. You got Zorro on the brain. Boy, you must feel like those pesos. <laughs> Does that. Well, Commandante, I think the real Zorro has just stood up. 